Well, I do teach all kinds of humanities classes. I teach upper division mostly lately, but I also teach the introduction to humanities and the 2000 level uh, surveys, historical surveys of the arts through the ages. And um, lately I've been teaching pragmatism, I've been teaching, uh, which is American philosophy, I've been teaching a mad scientist class, which was pretty exciting. Um, and uh, I'll be teaching aesthetics, I'll be teaching environmental aesthetics, and I will be teaching approaches to humanities, which introduces students to all kinds of angles that you can take to talk about the arts, whether it's literature or movies or painting or sculpture or theater or film. That's the beauty of our program, that you can do all these things at once in one class. I was a playing teacher when I was like five years old, I suppose, or even younger, um, even before I actually was a student in school. And um, I guess I've always liked the interactive and communicative aspect of teaching. But I think what really has kept me really enthusiastic about teaching is the sharing aspect. I like sharing things. I like to cook too, I like to feed people. I like to share everything that I have with somebody. And so I really do enjoy after all these years that I spent in school, which were a lot of years, <laughs> learned a lot of things, I would really like to share that with the students. And more than just the content, also just the whole way of looking at the world, uh, the way to think about things, the way to ask questions, the way to revise your own writing, your own means of expression, and so on and so forth. Um, it's very exciting to me to see students catch up on some of the, what I would think is the deep, deep structure of learning through the humanities courses that I teach. Well, I, I studied Gertrude Stein's work for about 20 years, and um, she's a very experimental writer. Um, a lot of people find her texts almost unreadable. She's that experimental. She's got a great sense of humor. That's what drew me to her first. And through her, I've discovered all kinds of really exciting things um, that constitute the spirit of the 20th century. Uh, modern art, um, modern philosophy, uh, and I think the, the main point about her is uh, kind of a playful approach to being very rigorously um, philosophical and, and, and really, really think about everything around you in a, in a way that, that makes it first unfamiliar and then rebuilds it in a completely new and creative way. Sort of like that. Um, that kind of spirit, the Mark Twainian spirit of kind of like going against the grain and being very funny about it and at the same time being very rigorous about it. And so I really, really like um, being funny in the classroom, laughing with my students, but also asking them some hard questions, um, you know, make challenging them a little bit to think abstractly, but also to think very much in detail, to look at just a few words in sequence and figure out, you know, what they what they mean and what you can do with them.